that's that. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the effects, how the effects animation was done. Okay, I'm going to describe uh, how we just start out. Like at the very beginning of a movie, we just have a script and uh, maybe a little bit of artwork, but we don't really start working on shots straight away. And when I say like, shots, that's the final footage that we see in the movie. We, uh, we, st we start our process called uh, pre-production. So I'm going to talk uh, a little bit about the pre-production and then I'm going to go and uh, describe a bunch of uh, the effects that we did, such as the water, the splashes and uh, the fire. But as you might have noticed, uh, it's a melting world. And, um, oh, sorry, it's a melting world. And there's like just, there's way more water than we really thought there really should have been in this movie for what we could have done. It was a, uh, it was a pretty big challenge. We weren't really sure how we were going to do it. So uh, we, uh, thankfully, we had about maybe a year of developing techniques and trying things out before we actually got going on it. Here's a um, little clip from the movie towards the finale that gives you a pretty good idea of all the different kinds of water effects that are going on. And what's happening in this story piece is a uh, Manny, that's the big mammoth, is trying to rescue Ellie, who's in a cave. It's not obvious at the beginning, but there's a rock cave. He's looking at it, and she's in there. <laughs> continued <laughs> okay as, as you I'm not sure if, how much uh, you're familiar all of you are familiar with computer graphics but water is really pretty hard to do in fact anything natural organic like fire or smoke these are all pretty hard things to do like in terms of like, the, the character animation like we all know that doing human characters are the hardest ones to do they're just um, something indefinable if you don't get it quite right just you're everyone can tell whereas uh, th doing easy things like glasses and hard edges are easy so in this movie we had like everything from like this is a river flowing in the background we need to animate the ice on it and do just make sure the water rippled and reflected correctly we had a the opening sequence was a water park in this shot there's a splash coming up from this character and uh, this is one of the things in a animated features is that every little detail you have to animate it's, um, you're not getting anything for free um, and this is the big flood at the end this is a pretty ch uh, challenging part where we had to have Manny swimming through the water so to get good animation from the water and have that interacting with the characters and this is you know the, the big end piece of the movie the dam bursts and uh, this water is gushing out like I said, this is the opening, opening sequence of the movie. How we get introduced. It was one of the producers of the original Ice Age who came up with this concept. 
I guess they were thinking about the sequel, and she said, well, it's Ice Age, the meltdown, everything's melting. So that was the basic pitch, how they decided. And from there, they came up with their story. So in the pre-production, this is where we, before we, like I said, before we start creating the footage for the movie, we have the movie script, we got some artwork. Like in that video I've shown you, um, like uh, Pete Desev, he's the character designer, and some of the other artists are doing a few paintings, but we don't start doing some footage yet. Uh, we like explore different looks to try to figure out what this movie is going to look like, because we want to have a cohesive style and develop techniques. Um, we want to figure out what we...